the tryst with Phillips, Rao Sankran, South Indian Phillips, big time. There are four major Phillips in Telugu and Tamil Judaism. I'm looking at three of them. What have we read here? Maris and Tegu. I'm not a skip. We are sitting already, and you know why. I, I don't even think one needs to give it the mileage of recognizing that kind of a cinema as part of it all. But when you look at these three, there is a sense of overwhelming fatigue that takes over when you sit and watch this cross celebration of the exaggeration, violence. Grotesque. You really wonder what's happening to cinema and the town. Do these filmmakers pause for a while and ask themselves the amount of money, effort, energy, raw stock, if there is, that goes into the making of this kind of cinema? It is so pathetic that you have to ask ourselves is this the kind of cinema we all sit and enjoy? It's a very serious issue. I think it reflects very sadly on our cultural connect. Yes, we celebrate heroes as larger than life, be it, be it Chiranjeevi, be it Ajit, be it Vijay. All three stars, larger than life. But what kind of a cinema are they making? What are they contributing to? Is money bags and box office their only claim after decades in cinema? Very disturbing questions to ask. Let's take Walter Biraya to start with. He has a 60 plus acting like a 30 romance, and pulling up his uh, loogies and style, and believing that that is entertainment and dance. And to believe that there's a complete fan follow to all this is even more pathological, if I may use the word. It's over the top, it is violent, it is ballistic. You can't even have a cat nap in the theatre. I know that it gets the producer the money he wants. It gets Chiranjeevi the adoration that he likes. But come on. There is a stage in an actor's career when he evolves, when he starts telling himself that this is what has fed me and I need to give back to cinema something. There must be an artist in a star. And I don't see that in any of these three movies. Viraya, Walter Viraya deals with black marketing, smuggling, battle between two groups. It's about how the main character has, it all starts off with a big background flashback, he's beaten up, he's put in. And then after the interval enters this, this police officer who takes again, who's anarchic by habit, Ravi Teja playing ACP Vikram. Strangely, it is Ravi Teja who adds sobriety and some sense to the film. I would strongly believe that Walter Viraya is an embarrassing film and it is to be avoided. If you are looking at another big actor, star, star of his own niche, Tegim Poos Ajit, this is about bank frauds, are in-house heist in a bank, how everybody is hand in glove. You don't really know whether it's a thriller or a cross comedy. We really can't make out what's happening there. Ajit behaves like he's got lost in a costume drama. He's acting part comic, part singing songs and beating up people. Ballistic again. Purposeless violence in Every second guy you meet in the movie is worse than the earlier. Human nature is worse than the soapbox that you have on your television channels from prime time between 7 and 10. And yet another pathetic film that I think people should stay with. And all these movies run for 2 hours 45 minutes, 2 hours 50 minutes. Then comes Vijay on familiar ground. He's got back to his wicket. He's where he loves to be, his comfort zone, family entertainment. 
an end stage father in uh, Sharat Kuma, what happens between the father and the son? Mother Jai Sudha, who looks very faded in the movie. The best thing the cameraman could do is get the camera a little away from her face. For somebody who's so graceful otherwise, the camera is staring at her. You have Vijay who tries hard to salvage this film. He too acts half comic. And you really don't know what he's doing with his mannerisms. Of the three, in terms of violence, perhaps Barisu is less. You have there the gang of uh, evil started by Prakash Raj and his son. On the other hand, you have Shrikant and Shah as the sons of Sharad Kumar vying for the Barisu title from Vijay, who's obviously going to get it. And then you have Rashmika as the romantic interest. No female in any of these films has a role of any gender importance. All these three films, this Sankranti, this Pungal, that they do well at the box office, is a worse story than how the stories themselves are. As I sign up, I believe that this was a terrible Sankranti on celluloid. Chirindi, Ajit, Vichar, three of them in the din and dust Bale. of three over-the-top films required to be called Shulat. Acknowledgements to Abhinav and Tatu as I sign off. Goodbye.